Trapping plays a very important role in modern-day wildlife management. Professional wildlife biologists monitor fur bearer populations to maintain a healthy and sustainable harvest of this important, renewable natural resource. Trapping provides recreation and income for licensed trappers across this country. Who's Your Trapper Outdoors is brought to you by Who's Your Trapper Supply. J3 Outdoors, manufacturer of the Hags Bracket and Body Trap Spring Clip, Leatherwood Creek Trapping Sense, Weeby Knives and Fur Handling Tools, HTS Productions, Who's Your Trapper Deer Sense, and Leatherwood Wildlife Art. All right, thanks for joining us for episode 12 of Who's Your Trapper Outdoors. And this is actually going to be um, our final episode for the uh, semi live uh, Indiana footage. And uh, we've enjoyed doing that, like I said, and uh, uh, we've had a lot of good comments on that. So if uh, um, you've got a comment or you've got a question or whatever, be sure to leave it uh, here right there on the YouTube screen. One thing, when you do that and we answer it, then it helps other people that uh, look at that, that uh, feed as well. So uh, uh, be sure to do that if you uh, are inclined to do so. want to mention the photo contest. Um, you can hit it on our YouTube page for all the details. Basically, just get a photo of yourself. Uh, with your successful catch or a kill and um, the product that you used from um, the Leatherwood line or from our HDS deer scent. Uh, that's kind of an overview of it. And then uh, we'll uh, draw two names from uh, the trapping and two names from the deer hunting and each will receive a uh, $100 gift card. So be sure to check out all the details uh, on the on the YouTube video. Want to um, uh, thank everybody for the orders that they've placed. Uh, we really appreciate that, and uh, after all, like I always say, that's kind of what keeps us all going. I want you, to, and if you haven't checked out our new website, you might check it out. It's very easy to navigate. It's got a lot of product on there. It's all easy to find, and also um, you can access our uh, YouTube show from the website um, and request catalogs. The um, uh, other thing is, when you're watching this, we will actually be on our first trip of the year in uh, New Mexico, and uh, hopefully that. Uh, uh, we're having a good trip. I, uh, we're, we're filming this obviously in advance, so uh, uh, we're looking forward to bringing you know, that footage as well. So uh, I guess uh, with all that said, hope you enjoy the show. Welcome to check day five. Uh, first two traps. I'll show you the other one in a minute. This one right here is uh, clearly shipped off, and I don't know if it'll show up in the in the uh, camera, but oh, yeah. it was deer. <laughs> yeah. So deer are curious about trapping scent. Some trapping scents uh, uh, they're definitely interested in. Urine they are interested in as well. So, um, anyways, got to remake this one and. Um, Hope for the best. Yeah, hope for the best for the rest of the day. Like I said, this is the first two sets. So I'm going to show you this other set, that, which actually was messed with too. Uh, it's already been, um, it's already been uh, uh, fixed up. It was, it, the trap wasn't flipped off or anything like that. It'd been, but, but it had been pawed at. So let me show you that one in a second. This set had been uh, pawed at and dug at. The trap remained solidly bed, bedded. It was not um, um, pulled out or flipped off or anything like that but if you can see it right there I don't know if it'll show up in the camera or not we've actually got some fox trap droppings so um, that'd be cool catch a fox here but we'll see this is the set that caught the coyote yesterday so there's a lot of smell here there's a lot going on clearly curious that they're going to pull out the, um, the smell on that trap um, but the whole area smells like uh smells like coyote for sure so 
anyways we'll see what happens uh, very likely that fox will come back or check it out again so see how the rest of the day plays out all right check day five still um, haven't caught anything yet and uh, even uh, here's one here for you even though we're uh, preaching guarding the hole which we set right on the hole we had a um, coyote dig at the side of the hole here and he actually I had used a uh, gray fox foot with some top dog on it and he had pulled the gray fox foot out I'm surprised he didn't take it with him but he, he uh, ate the top dog off of it and but he, he worked it from completely from the side of the hole and of course the traps right there in front guarding the hole but even still um, that's what he did so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that fox foot put some more top dog get down in the hole and um, I'm gonna get a little backer and put on back with that to maybe help um, help uh, protect the hole a little bit from the side uh, but you know once in a while that happens and uh, um, they, you know they can't resist that, resist that bait but typically they're gonna work it at least where you're gonna get caught caught uh, in the trap so anyways where the cow's gonna get caught so um, we'll uh, get that adjusted and fixed up and then the set over here with the gray fox flat set um, gray fox is foot is stuck right there in the ground I showed that the other day and it, it, it was undisturbed but it, we're only talking they're probably you know 25 feet apart they're very close to each other but anyways we'll get this set readjusted and, and uh, see if we can connect we're gonna pull today's the 13th um, so we're gonna check I think five more days and then we'll see you know then we've we got to pull stuff for uh, the onslaught of uh, deer season so anyways that's where we're at on uh, check day five so far all right check day five coming to a close blanked out today it's the first day we haven't caught a thing so we had two or three sets messed with two i think but we, we showed them and then um that was it so of course we caught the seven yesterday obviously didn't expect to do anything like that today We've got a definite big weather change coming. It's going to really get cold um, this morning when we, it's in the low 30s right now, but tomorrow morning is supposed to be 17, so maybe that'll spur some uh, activity. But uh, anyways, check day five in the books with the big goose egg. Trapping products by J3 Outdoors, the most versatile and efficient trapping devices on the market. We've got the Hags brackets on here. We just set this trap in one of the grooves and it just sits right under there uh, on the bottom slot and then the water's just directly over the trap. All right, trap's missing. We'll see if we got anything. Hags bracket with the, with the carrot. Can't beat that. Leatherwood Trapping Sense. Success speaks for itself. Pretty awesome to see this after blanking out yesterday. Yeah, yesterday was a big, big zero. And this is the same. This is the same set that caught the red fox. Uh, I don't know, three days ago or so. So. Yeah, same set. And fox, unlike coyotes, love sets that have been previously caught, uh, where you've caught a red fox. So. Uh, that is always way better uh, for a fox, the next one coming along, that you've caught one that all smells like fox. But coyotes certainly catch fox, or uh, coyotes after you've caught coyotes, but uh, fox, um, it's it's a given. They they yeah. they like sets that, that have previously this caught. This one's a, a little... This is a little better fox. Yeah, it's a little bigger, a little more mature. It's a nice looking fox. Yeah. Very cool. We'll remake him. Yep. For, uh, oh, this is check day six, by the way. Check day six, yeah. We've uh, checked, we've got eight locations set. We've checked, um, this will be the fifth location. And um, so, yeah, yeah it's, 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 we've, I mean, we've knocked them pretty good for the small area that we're yeah. in. So we've caught 
12 coyotes out of eight locations. So This location here alone, where we caught the triple the other day, uh, in total, I think it's caught seven animals. Right. Two reds, two coyotes, and then the triple coyote. Yeah. It's five coyotes and two reds or, here. Yeah. yeah. So. It's been fire. So, yeah, this is one of those locations. It's just a fur pocket. So. Uh, if you see this guy on camera, it's a new face. No one's no one's seen him on Hoosier Trapper Outdoors. But this this is one of my best buddies <laughs> from school, high school. But he works at the shop too and does taxidermy. Um, Tommy. Tommy. Tommy Gender. <laughs> he's an avid fisherman and deer hunter, and now I think he's finally been bit with the trapping bug. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, he. He was in Illinois, and we'll, we'll show you some of his footage. He's finally got, he got a couple, he bought one of our kits and uh, caught his first coyote. So we'll show you that footage too. Yeah, he went out. <laughs> Cell phone footage. Yeah, yeah. that second day checking traps or third day checking traps and catches a coyote, right? Third day. Yeah. Third day, so. Third day. One coyote. Anybody can do it. Six traps. Yeah. <laughs> he says he can call himself a trapper now. I can. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't call yourself a wolfer. <laughs> not, not yet, not yet. All right, let's remake it. What's up, everybody? Uh, my name's Tommy. I work at Hoosier Trapper. This is my first time trapping, and I got one last night. I've been checking for three days, nothing. I had a deer or something flip one this morning at my first spot. Pulled around the corner of this field and saw him bouncing around. So... Uh, I was using Top Dog and uh, Vixen Elixir on this set uh, on the on the corner here of a big field, little drainage where the you know the grass grows there. So, but uh, man, I'm excited. I I'm excited. This is great. Uh, I think I'm hooked on the trapping. Uh, didn't know if I'd like it or not, but uh, he's caught good. He's all the way in, all all the whole fall. So awesome. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. All right. All right. Check day six. This is our last stop that we got eight locations set. So this is our eighth spot. And we get here, and I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but the the bed, the trap bed's right there, and the trap is pulled out of the bed. It's still set. It's got the coveralls and stuff on it. And if you look. way down there I think that's the culprit right there coons are pretty bad about that's doing a, that that's a trash can panda yeah so my guess is uh, I had somebody comment to me that it said you guys always say it's coons doing that well here in Indiana it's 99% of the time it's coons that are pulling traps out of beds and flipping them over and having them upside down. And I know coyotes and fox do that on occasion, but here we got a really good chance that it's a raccoon. So, anyways, that's uh, I'm gonna get this one fixed up and we're gonna walk down here and take a look at this coon. It looks like a pretty nice one. All right, here's the culprit. <laughs> <laughs> he knows he's in trouble. Or one of his family members is the culprit pulling that trap out down there, right down the way here. So, and you know, we were commenting yesterday. We were just talking. We have not caught. Uh, in six check days, this is the first coon that we've caught, and we have not caught a possum. Yeah. It's, it's really odd. So, well, I mean, not that we want to deal with it, but uh, just kind of surprised we're not catching uh, that stuff. So, anyways, wrapping it up for check day six, a red fox and a raccoon. I think we've kind of put a little bit of dent in the, in the, a uh, little bit of dent in the uh, coyote population here. But We'll see what happens tomorrow. Yep. Continue on with our semi-life. I've been a professional trapper for over 40 years, and in that time, I've skinned literally thousands of animals. I've learned that it doesn't matter how cool a knife looks on your hip. What really matters is sharpness and reliability. And that's why I created the Weeby Wicked Sharp line of replacement blade knives. These are knives that will quickly skin your critters without skinning your wallet. Visit WeebyKnives.com to get the new Monarch folding knife with three replacement blades for just $19.95. We be knives, wicked sharp. Who's your trapper deer sense? Success speaks for itself. All right, check day seven. Hey, here is the story of the day. So everything is coated with ice. We had a pretty good ice storm last night. We're actually supposed to get like three inches of snow, but that didn't materialize. So what we're doing, um, this is check second spot we've checked. 
Uh, so what we're doing is we've got um, like ice cookies on top of everything like that and that is will actually probably break apart just fine if uh, if something stepped on it but we're, we're gonna go ahead and pull that off salt and that it we did we did um, bed the traps in the dirt but the they are covered with cover holes so they wouldn't freeze up salt that and then I'm gonna put a little bit of fresh cover holes on top and um, just to dress that a little bit it's supposed to get well below freezing tonight so uh, a lot of this is gonna melt today and then um, uh, you know which is which would be uh, obviously a problem for uh, uh, all that moisture uh, melting and then being super cold tonight so anyways that's what we're doing to keep this stuff going um, I think uh, I think they'll function just fine but uh, the ones that are in a low area where the water may pool in that might be more of an issue but anyways that's what we're gonna do to get us through tonight and then we'll kind of reassess tomorrow where we're at so but anyways like I said this one here is sitting a little low and you can see the dirt holes actually just completely filled with water and we have caught a number of coyotes in this exact scenario right here that top dog actually um, has a couple ingredients in there that like water <laughs> it kind of activates it even more so um, we're gonna we're just gonna leave this just as is because we have caught a lot of coyotes in this whole this scenario here I think the first time it was several years ago the first time I realized um, the appeal of that stuff is uh it was worse than this it's like in other words this whole area would have been just kind of just stinging it in that little bit of water like that and i went by to check them to make sure there wasn't anything in them uh every day and um had a double just you know 15 feet apart so anyways we're going to stir that up a little bit that's going to kind of activate that bait that's down there i'm going to call this uh top dog gumbo yeah that's the top dog gumbo right there a little stew action but don't get me wrong this is not ideal situation but we're, we're making the best of what we're what we've got so don't work check day seven check day seven this, <coughs> this makes coyote number six at this spot um we've been fighting ice all morning the traps really all of them are functioning all the traps are functioning as you saw what we're doing to prepare for tonight when it gets so this trap right here is getting pulled. I was going to say, there's not much of a remake on this one. This one's getting pulled. We're, we're... So, pretty cool. There you go, Justin. Yeah, if you got a creek nearby, just wash them right there on the spot. Yeah, it just keeps the mess under control. And get a kind of a better look at him to see if it's... Looks like a pretty decent The actually. belly don't look too bad. That mud's got to come out of there one way or the other, so you might as well get started on it. So. We've got, like I said, Justin, he's, he pulled that trap, so there's still three uh, coyote traps here. We've got had four sets here. So we're, we still got the area well covered, but uh, yeah, male, not too bad. Clean the trap up in the process. Yeah. Check day seven. And let's see this place. I think this is the third, wait a minute. The fourth day we checked this trap. So finally connected here on this corner. Another muddy one. Not quite as bad as the other one, but another muddy one. Pulling, pulling the trap. And um, got another set right over here, and it hasn't been disturbed. This one, Justin, this one was messed with for what? Yeah. Two or three days. We actually saw um, a track. There's a, there's just on the outside of this lane, track right in front of it. Didn't even look like it stopped to pay attention, you know, but then there was a little bit of digging off to the side, possibly. I'm surprised that the trap's functioning this morning because they picked this field. Did you already tell them that? Yeah, we were. No, I didn't. I just, 
concerned yeah. that the trap actually may have gotten run over by the combine or something yeah. yesterday, but it There's didn't. beans in this, and they picked it, and I thought, man, I'm right on the edge. Got lucky on this one. Yeah. And, and yesterday, when we were driving down the road and then coming up this farm lane, but anyways, driving down the road, Tommy, who's on the camera, saw a coyote actually running through the bean field in one of those swales right there. But So that might be this one, it might not, I don't know, but then... Uh, Anyways, they, he was out moving. One of them was out moving yesterday. We are not remaking this, so <laughs> right. we'll, we'll go ahead and pull and, it. And then tomorrow morning, because of deer season coming in on Saturday, tomorrow's Friday. Today's the 15th of November. Um, there's a set over here. We're going to have to pull that one. And then there's on the other side of this woods, which we've got to drive clear around. It's big, pretty good woods for Indiana, uh, this part of Indiana. we got to pull those, too, because of deer season as well, but um, coming in on Saturday. Anyways, check day seven. We've got one more spot to check and hadn't been too bad. Better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, so with the, the weather and stuff and all that ice coming in pretty early last evening. Yeah. We'll take it. Yeah. Action. All right, into check day seven. Pulling, up, pulling ice, putting salt down, cleaning sets up. Still connected on two coyotes. Um, so that's kind of a recap of the day. We've got three more check days. We've got just one more check day on a couple locations because we've got to pull them up for deer hunters. And then um, and then we're actually going to set up a, a beaver location tomorrow. Well, that one location where we're doing so well on the coyotes, we've got to catch the beavers there too. So um, that's how we actually got into that spot. So anyways, at the end of the day, we'll see what happens tomorrow. All right, Q&A. Had a question uh, actually below one of, the, one of our shows about visits to a set and non-committal of the animal and what the issue is um there's no 100 percent answer for that i mean we're not you know we're not in that animal's head there are some nights that that is definitely more true than others uh, we have noticed if there's a full moon it seems to be more of that uh, non-committal tentative visit by the animal where they're just casually interested is is an overstatement uh, we've all seen this, I think, and as I always say, the snow is, a, you know, the great humbler. It, uh, you go out and you don't think much is going on and there's tracks all over the place and you're not, you know, they're just not visiting your set. And typically for those of you that have been around this, you all know that um, you just have nights like that. So um, you'll have um, nights if you just leave things in place. Obviously the location's good because there's tracks there. Um, so, and if you had a history with the place, you also know that it's, you know, it's a good location. Um, I think, um, uh, you know, those of us that have been around round of two know that if you keep your sets in place that, um, you will connect, uh, with those animals in the future. We, um, last year when we were in New Mexico, we had, uh, very bright full moon and had that issue, uh, for uh, three nights or so um, and then as the moon started to um, uh, get a little smaller then we noticed that we our, our um, catch picked up some um, but that that tentative um, casualness of the animal uh, like I said is, is difficult to completely put your finger on in terms of why it's like that uh, other than that it just happens to all of us uh, and uh, I like I said, you, you know, there's going to be some lure and bait makers and say, you know, wow, well, you're not using, they're just not interested in what you're putting at them. But um, that is not the case. Uh, the case is, um, it's just some evenings uh, and some nights are definitely just, you're just going to run into that. So, uh, and my, I guess my advice uh, to that is keep things in place. Uh, you already know the animals there and then um, things will connect, uh, you know, in, in, in the future in a few days. So. Um, uh, that's that's the best answer I can give for that, uh, and that that's a years of doing this and years of of uh, experience and perspective of uh, you know what those uh, you know what the outcome of those scenarios are. All right, old news, but this is new new news to those of you that are just now finding this or uh, just new to trapping or whatever. Coyote Trapping DVD that we did actually a few years ago. Um, it's called Coyote Trapping Making Sense of It All. A lot of people that are interested in coyote trapping just kind of don't know where to start. 
it, uh, it's very overwhelming, particularly if you don't have any type of trapping history or, or trapping background, or even a friend that traps. This DVD will literally walk you through start to finish on what, you know, what to do. Um, uh, trap prep, uh, trap adjustment, how to use lure and bait. How to, um, you know, how to make your sets, where to make your sets, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So um, it's basically a complete course in trapping. We have literally had people that this, and this also comes with our our predator package trapping packages. Um, but we've literally had people get the DVD, have their equipment, go out and actually catch coyotes the first night. So, like I said, it's old news. But those, then again, for those of you that are just now finding us, or that you're just now starting to uh, have an interest in trapping. Um, you might want to definitely check this out. It's only $19.95. It's a little over two hours, and it'll walk you through the entire process. One thing that I might say, too, is if you are new to trapping or you've been trapping a while, go back and re-watch the DVD. There's a lot in here. So, you know, once you got a baseline, uh, you'll go back and you'll actually pick up quite a bit more that you didn't realize when you first watched it. Um, so, and it, you know, it doesn't hurt to re-watch it. But um, there's a lot of information in here that you may not... Uh, relate to until you have the experiences in the field. So, um, uh, anyways, it, it just a good trapping, coyote trapping course. Thanks for watching the show, guys. Just want to let you know that we have the new catalog available. Pretty sharp looking cover there with Charlie working a muskrat hut. Um, you can get this by calling the shop here at any time. Just give us your home address and we'll be glad to send you one. Or you can visit us at hoosertrappersupply.com and sign up that way, request one. It's, it's real easy. It's on the home page. It's a brand new website. It's pretty sharp. And uh, you can also sign up for our email newsletter, which informs you on uh, show dates when they're coming out and product highlights and shows or, uh, specials that we may have going on at the time. Occasionally a blog by Charlie. So just a little bit of insight of what's going on here at Hoosier Trapper will be in those newsletters. One thing I wanted to add to is the First Shed series is still out there so don't forget about that. We send them out randomly. There's no dates available. Anytime we think there's a tip or something useful that could help someone out in the field or in their shed, we'll go ahead and throw it out there for you. And it's real clean cut, straight to the point. Anything from trap modification to fur grading or whatnot, just anything that's done in the shed not necessarily done in the field those tips can really be helpful so be on the lookout for those and go ahead and follow us too on uh, all the social media sites we're on Twitter Facebook Instagram um, the list goes on just find us on there and, and we'd love to hear from you comments like post all the good stuff so we'll see you next time Join us on January 18th for the next episode of Who's Your Trapper Outdoors. <laughs>